You know, sometimes I wonder if men have this fear inside of them that they're not even aware of, that most men are subconsciously asking themselves, especially in marriage, do I have what it takes? What if I'm actually a failure? And when your woman complains, when they have a concern or a desire to be loved in a new way, we have to start realizing that we hear her concern as you're not good enough, you're failing. So we defend ourselves, we stick up for ourselves, we fight back, we prove them wrong, we debate, we argue, we dismiss, because we have to, or else in our heads we're admitting that we're a failure and we don't have what it takes. When in reality, men, what's actually happening is your partner who loves you is simply giving you information on how they feel loved most, how they feel close and connected to another person. And the person she wants to feel close to is you. And playing the attacked victim or dismissing her feelings, demeaning her, mocking her, constantly making excuses or trying to prove her wrong, trying to avoid conflict, it doesn't protect the closeness. It kills it. Have the courage and humility to try something new. Asking for help with your conflicts and fights and repairs doesn't make you weak. That's strength. Being overwhelmed by your wife's feelings or concerns and dismissing them as stupid, that's weakness.